Good afternoon. I have a thing about last words. I like to uh, read about them and find out what people said as they came to the end of their life. I think most people want to, uh, to communicate what's important to them when they're coming to their end of their time with a group of people. Uh, Oscar Wilde, British humorist, is reported, this may or may not be true, but it's reported that he said on his deathbed, this wallpaper is going to be the death of me. Either it goes, or I do. Um, this one is true. Spike Milligan, another humorist, has an Irish Gaelic phrase carved into the stone of his tombstone. And when it's translated, it says, I told you I was ill. M most people don't leave a joke for posterity. Uh, however, Spike Milligan and Oscar Wilde were humorists to the end. Most people want to say something important, give some instruction, say the things that are most important to them at their end of time with the people that they love and they care about. And the Gospel of John records the last words that Jesus had with his disciples before going to the cross. And one of these is a little bit challenging. You read about it in John 14, 12. These are the words of Jesus. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. Did you catch that? We will do even greater things than Jesus did? Um, Lord, uh, you walked on water. You raised Lazarus from the dead. You fed the 5,000 with basically nothing. Five buns and a couple of fish. Those are pretty big shoes to fill. Now, you and I may struggle with the greater things part, but I do know this. In order to be Christ followers, we have to strive to be Christ-like. For the rest of April and May, our theme is going to be if Jesus. We're going to look at some of the defining characteristics of Jesus' life here on earth and apply them to ourselves. In other words, if Jesus demonstrated an ongoing, vibrant prayer life, then so should we. If Jesus demonstrated a dependence on the Holy Spirit, then so should we. I think that when you and I become more like Jesus, then we will be well on our way to doing greater things. See you this Sunday morning. We'll be looking at the relationship that Jesus had with his Father, God, in heaven, and what that means for you and me. See you there.